What's going on my beautiful kings and queens out there? I know I have been missing in action. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to start being more consistent. You know, I had to take a break from social media, period. I had to get my life together. I had to do so many things. But I am bringing some videos back, okay? So before I get into this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, like button, share button, and don't forget to comment down below. But for today's video, I'm just doing like, you know, a, a normal vlog. You know, just enjoying my day off. I'm about to go to Best Buy and see what I can get. It's like, nah, I'm going to pick up my order. I had to get me some new AirPods because my old AirPods is just not hitting no more. So, you know, I just placed the order for some new AirPods and I'm about to go pick those up right now. And I'm thinking about going to check out a car well right now i'm in a nice car or whatever i'm in a um a 2021 Hyundai Elantra SE i think or something like that you know it's it's loaded it got nice features or whatever you know what i'm saying but i'm to the point where though like i want to get something a little bit bigger because like, you know, I have three godchildren, and you know, I be wanting to take them out and everything. I'm trying to get to that age where though, like, I can like handle them all together, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so I'm going to be going to the side to get my AirPods first. Looking at a car online compared to looking at it in person is two different things, you know? Like, I wanna see the features of the car. Like, even though it tells you online the features and everything like that, but I wanna look at the car myself. I wanna feel the car. I wanna sit in the car. I wanna possibly test drive the car, you know what I'm saying? But a little bit of a life update. The reason why I had to take like a little break off of social media, period. It's just that, you know, I went through a job change, you know, and I'm just, I, I'm basically rebuilding myself from the ground up, you know, I worked at this one company for 10 years, and then, you know, I asked for like a little increase, just a little bump, like a little $2 bump. And they wanted to keep giving me to run around. But it was okay when I was, you know, running back and forth to Philadelphia to work for them. You know what I'm saying? Not not them not thinking about the wear and tear on my vehicle. I had to make the decision if I wanted to like leave that company. So I did leave. The crazy thing is new. I work for this new company. Although like they're way more strict. And I don't really have that freedom that I had when I was working for my old company. I can see myself working there for quite some time. You know, I can't tell y'all what I actually do because of this confidentiality agreement that I signed. So I cannot sit here and explain to y'all what I'm actually doing. But I'm basically getting paid the same amount of money, damn near, if not a little bit more, to be honest with you. I'm getting paid as an hourly employee doing something completely different, making way more money compared to being, I was a manager for this parking company. I can say that. I was a manager for the parking company and I was salary and I wasn't getting paid the type of money that I'm getting paid now. You know, and I just had to take that leap of faith, you know. It was a big adjustment because, you know, I'm the type of person I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. And so that's what I'm doing with this new company that I'm working with. You know what I'm saying? So I started at the bottom and now three months later, I, prom I got a promotion to another position, which I'm making damn near the same amount of money that I was making as making a, be a salary manager. You know what I'm saying? So, 
and I would say like probably within another three months, I probably will get another promotion because I really, really like this company and I like the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, although like every job that you go to, you're gonna have BS wherever you go. But at the end of the day, like I literally enjoy working for this place. It's the people that keep bringing me back. It's my managers that keep bringing me back, you know? It's just a very pleasant experience, you know? And this job is so easy to the point where, though, like, anybody can do it. As long as you can obtain a certain license, you can do it. Just follow the rules, come to work on time, and do your damn job. That's all you gotta do. I pick up my AirPods and then come right back out. And then I'm gonna make that trip to, uh, you know, the car dealership to check out this truck. Because I'm kind of stuck in between two trucks right now. So I'm stuck in between the 2024 Kia Seltos or the 2023. I'm looking at the 2023 Kia Seltos because that's the year that we're in. But... If I could go for the 2020, you know what I'm saying, for Kia Seltos, then that's what I'm going to go for. But at the end of the day, the Kia, the Kia Seltos that for this year is in my favorite color, which is blue, because that's the color of my current car right now, I may have to, you know, do this year. But I'm still working on a lot of things or whatever, trying to repair my credit. Because I did, I'm not even going to sit here and lie, I did splurge my credit cards a lot, and now I'm trying to pay them back. So, I will see you guys in the next clip, okay? Because I, I know I'm rambling a lot, so I appreciate y'all for listening to me and everything like that. So, I'm going to see y'all in the next clip, all right? Because I got to focus on the road. Guys, I'm back. So, um... I just walked out of Best Buy, um, but right now I'm on my way to um, that black Kia, and I'm about to go check out this car. I may record that, but I may record that on my cell phone instead of, you know, bringing out my GoPro camera, even though it's smaller than a cell phone, but it's on a tripod, and I don't feel like, you know, doing all that carrying. If y'all hear that beeping in the background, that's just my, you know backup sensor telling me that a car was near so when i get to matt black kia i'm going to pop back on this camera hey everyone i'm back so basically i'm at the um the kia dealership where like in my surrounding area so i had got out the car and i had looked at a few trucks that i want to get you know the one that i'm really liking so far is the um is the Kia Seltos. I think it's the 2023 version. It looks nice and it's a nice size truck, but it's not in the color that I want it to be. So I did go look at a few. So I'm, I didn't take y'all on that with me because of the simple fact is I don't want to get like completely into the whole buying experience or whatever like that i just came to look at the truck that's it you know what i'm saying i don't want to be like even though i know they probably won't pressure me into buying it or whatever but i know for a fact that i'm not ready for like the buying phase so i just came to check it out right quick to see what it looked like in person i didn't i wasn't able to get inside because i didn't go inside of the um dealership to ask for the keys or anything like that i'm glad i came here i looked at it you know what i'm saying so for right now i'm still good in my car you know my car is a little sporty car you know uh, um 25 percent or 20 percent, something like that nothing too dark nothing too crazy because you know i live in new jersey or whatever and you know you can't really have your tents that dark even though people do it but you have a higher chance of getting pulled over and i don't i don't want that you know what i'm saying 
by the grace of God, ever since I've had my tents, I've never been pulled over because my tents are still see-through, but it does provide some privacy. Not a whole lot, but some. When I'm driving at night, then that's when the privacy is amped up. Unless somebody gets like super close to my car and tries to peek in, then that's when it changes. You know what I'm saying? So, but for right now, I'm okay with my decision with my vehicle. You know, my car only has 22,000 miles on it. Um, I think I've had it since the beginning, no, since the end of 2020. And we're in 2023. I think I got it in 2020. It could have been in 2021. I'm not really sure. So I think I'm going to hold on to my baby for a little while longer. I'm going to come back at this point again, probably towards the end of the year. Because I honestly do want a truck. I should have got a truck when I had the chance to get one. But, you know, me thinking logically, oh, I'm thinking about the gas and this and that. I'm just like, I was just all up in my head at that point in time. So, basically, yeah, I think I'm about to just take it on home. Because if I sit here any longer, it's going to make me want to get a new truck. And I'm going to go inside and start talking to a representative. So... With that being said, I'm just going, you know, put my car in gear and just drive on away and go home. Because I really, really want a truck, but I'm really, really not in a financial state to get a truck. Because I already know, like, I know if I get a truck, my payment is going to go skyrocketed, you know, and I'm not trying to do that. My payment right now for this current car that I have is okay you know even though when i wasn't making that much money i was still keeping up with my car payment or whatever like that so basically i am just gonna you know take my little ass on home that's what i'm gonna do all right hello beautiful people <sighs> i made it back home you know it was a crazy, crazy time out here. Put it back home. I just want to say thank you so much for listening to me blabber on about what I was doing today. It was greatly appreciated. I do appreciate you all for sticking with me this long, even though I haven't been posting. But, you know, that's about to change. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I'm going to be consistent because, you know, life happens and everything. And... Sometimes life knocks you down. You just got to build yourself back up. So, if you continuously riding with me, just ride with me until the wheels fall off. You know what I'm saying? And then I will continuously upload as I get time. You know? I'm trying to make a schedule for YouTube because I'm trying to get back into it. So, basically, I'm trying to film every Friday and give you guys a video probably every week that's the plan but you know plans don't always go as planned you know what i'm saying so i just want to thank you so much for continuing to rock with me and i will see you guys in the next one okay continue to be blessed stay blessed if you're dreaming on something make sure you go out there look at it manifest it because that's what i did today i'm manifesting because i really really want that truck and if I continue to manifest and talk to my ancestors, then I will have it by the end of this year or before the end of this year. But if not, it's okay because I still have a perfectly fine vehicle and there's nothing wrong with it by the grace of God. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.